Thank you for renting a Penske car carrier. The car carrier is a safe and effective way to move a vehicle, but there are a few limitations. Damage will occur to your vehicle if these limitations are not followed. The maximum width at the widest part of the front end of the vehicle to be towed is 79 inches. The maximum wheelbase of the towed vehicle is 125 inches. The towed vehicle's weight cannot exceed 4,055 pounds. The minimum and maximum tire sizes are listed here. All 17-inch tires are too large and all 12-inch tires are too small. Preparing a car for transportation is a two-person job. On straight and level ground, back the Penske truck up to the car carrier for easy installation. The person directing the driver should be off to the side so that the driver can see him in the side mirror. Make sure the ball is directly under the front of the coupling device. The car carrier can be moved sideways to obtain proper alignment. When the tongue is lowered, it will move slightly forward. Your Penske car carrier will be equipped with one of three types of couplers. The procedure will vary slightly for each type. First, the lever type coupler. With the lever in the up position, turn the handle on the car carrier jack to lower the coupler to the tow ball, making sure it is fully seated. Continue to crank the jack until it is in the full up position. Push down on the coupler lever to lock into position. Insert the locking pin. The second coupler type is similar to the lever type, but has an additional locking plate located under the coupler. After first securing the coupler to the tow ball, lock the lower locking plate in the up position. Push down on the coupler lever to lock into position. Insert the locking pin. For car carriers equipped with a hand wheel type coupler, be sure the hand wheel is opened fully by pressing down on the safety latch while turning the hand wheel counterclockwise. After the coupler is fully seated on the tow ball, turn the hand wheel clockwise until tight. Take the wires from the storage position and run them to the wiring box on the back of the truck. Leave enough slack for turning movement of the car carrier, but not so much that the wires touch the ground. The wires are color-coded. Attach them to their matching post by depressing the post and placing the wire into the hole on the post. Check the lights, both turn signals, running lights, brakes, and flashers. Attach the safety chains to the truck. Take them from their storage position and crisscross them under the tongue of the car carrier. Loop the hook through the eyelet and attach it to the safety chain itself. The chain should create a cradle and allow enough slack for turning movement of the car carrier, but not so much that the chain hits the ground. Attach the hook from the emergency brake cable to the eyelet on the truck, making sure there is enough slack for turning. Before loading your car, Make sure that the Penske truck is in park and the parking brake has been set. Remove the safety pin, lift the ratchet handle, lift the pawl away from the sprocket, and unroll the straps from their storage position. Lay the straps on the outside of the car carrier. Repeat the process on the other side. Pull the ramps out of the car carrier by pushing down on the latch and pulling the ramps out by the handle. Be careful putting the ramps down on the ground to avoid pinching your fingers. Direct the driver of the vehicle up the ramps by standing in front of the car carrier. Once the vehicle is halfway up the ramps, step aside to further guide the driver. The car should be pulled up to the front of the car carrier until the front tires rest against the wheel stop. Put the car in park and apply the parking brake. Remember to remove your keys from the car before exiting. When getting out of the car, avoid stepping on the fender of the trailer. It's not designed to support a person's weight. Place the straps over the tire. 
make sure that the inside of the strap is not against a suspension part, a brake line, or the brake assembly, as damage may occur. Adjust the straps so that they are on the tire evenly. Slide the ratchet assembly to the center of the tire. Pull down on the strap to make it snug and ratchet the strap down. Be sure the strap is centered and positioned properly over the tire and tighten it down onto the tire. Leave the ratchet handle in the down position by pushing up on the swivel handle to drop it down. Replace the safety pin so the ratchet doesn't release. Repeat the process on the other side. Take the rear safety chain from its storage position and loop it around a member of the car's frame and hook it to itself. Avoid placing the chain over any brake lines or damage may occur. Refer to the decal on the inside of the trailer for assistance in proper placement. Attach the front safety chain in the same manner. Store the ramps by picking them up and sliding them in all the way until the latch locks them into place. Now is a good time to complete an overall car carrier safety check to ensure a trouble-free move. Make sure all assembly bolts, safety chains, tire straps, electrical hookup and ramps are secure and in place. Also make sure the coupler is properly secured to the ball of the truck. Your car is now secure and you're ready to be on your way. If you require the carrier's registration while you're traveling, you'll find it on the front inside frame rail in the document holder. There's a few more important things you'll need to remember. Please do not attempt to back up the truck with the car carrier attached if you are not familiar with backing up a trailer. This could result in serious damage to your car, the truck, and car carrier due to jackknifing. Never load your car or tie to the car carrier any household good or other items. This will create an overload situation that could cause a failure of the car carrier during your trip. Repeat the safety check after five miles and then each 50 miles thereafter, as components of the car carrier may loosen during travel. With the Penske truck and the car carrier straight and on level ground, put the truck in park and apply the parking brake. Remove the straps by first removing the locking pin. Lift the ratchet handle and pull the pawl away from the sprockets and unroll the strap. Leave the handle in the down position so the vehicle does not hang up on the handle when backing off the car carrier. Take the straps off and lay them on the outside of the tire. Take the strap off in the same manner on the other side. Remove the safety chains from under the car. Pull out the ramps and carefully back the car off the car carrier. Go slowly so the back of the car doesn't hit the ground and the front of the car doesn't hit the ramp. Slide the ramps back into the car carrier until they are in the lock position. Return the straps to the storage position. Leave the handle in the down position and replace the safety pin. Return the safety chains to their storage position. If you need to disconnect the car carrier to load or unload the truck, please follow these procedures. Remove the emergency brake cable, the wiring harness, and the safety chains. If your car carrier has the lever type coupler, remove the locking pin and raise the lever. If this type of coupler is also equipped with a locking plate, pull out on the release handle and lower the plate. To release the handwheel type coupler, Press down on the safety latch and turn the hand wheel counterclockwise all the way until loose. Now crank the tongue jack until it lifts the tongue completely off the tow ball. When the tongue jack is lifted, it will pull back slightly. If the front of the coupler catches on the front of the tow ball, pull the car carrier slightly forward. Remember, never disconnect a loaded car carrier. Failure to do so could cause serious injury as well as damage to the vehicle and car carrier. When you return your truck and car carrier to Penske, you don't need to disconnect it from the truck. Penske will take care of that for you. Contact your local Penske representative if you have any questions. 
Failure to comply with Penske's towing instructions may result in damage to your vehicle and the car carrier. Penske will not be responsible for any damage as a result of improper use. Thank you for renting from Penske. Have a safe trip and best of luck in your new home.